Welcome to the Landon Miller Room here at Morehead State University and Sean Woods has joined us now for a, a special look at uh, Coach Woods, day two of your MSU tenure. So far, how's things been going? So far, so good. You know, it's still a whirlwind. I, I feel like I'm a wrestler. Uh, I'm creating a sense of cauliflower here because my phone's up to my ear uh, 24 hours a day. But other than that, it's been great. Great uh, press conference history to introduce you. A lot of community people, a lot of uh, the people at Morehead State University came out as a uh, as a coach, a former player, you had your family there. That had to be uh, very nice to see the community to come out to greet you. Oh, without a doubt, and uh, that's just you know. Hopefully, that's it's more to come. You know, the, the excitement and the buzz. Uh, it's just my job to keep them coming. Tell us a little bit about how you got here. The fact that you know, you, after your playing days at the University of Kentucky, you you went into the business world, and then got the the niche for coaching. How did that all work out? Well, you know, when I first got done playing, you know, my coach told me I was a natural at it, but I wanted to get so far away from him because I still wanted to play. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, my career ended short and uh, I had to go get a job and uh, I got into sales at WLEX TV and um, did that for a, few, for a few years and had success at it and I just got the niche. And I was working out some guys, you know, the Tony Delks, the Walter McCarty's of the world. and. Um, Danny Haney, my son, played for him at Lexington Catholic. Had just won the state championship, and he asked me. He said, "I would love for you to go to Florida with me if you would." And I said, "You know, it didn't, didn't sound right at, at first. And I woke up one morning, and it's like a, a, a bell went off, and said, "This is what you need to do." A lot of stops between here and Morehead State. Uh, tell us a little bit about your path assistant coach wise to get to Mississippi Valley State? Well first you know after I left uh, I went to North Briar Prep in Florida with um, Danny Haney I got an opportunity to, to coach at High Point University for two years and uh, from there we had instant success. We were the youngest staff in the United States and uh, first year we lost in the conference championship to Liberty and um, I was attracted by uh, or a coach by the name of Ronnie Arrow, who was at North, uh, North I mean, uh, at uh, Texas A&M and Corpus Christi, uh, who had major success at San Jack and also at South Alabama. Uh, went there, had success there for a year, and was able to go with Neil Doherty to TCU, and um, who's a Roy Williams protege and Eddie Fogler protege, and uh, did that for two years and, uh, and had an opportunity. Uh, to coach to go to Mississippi Valley State University uh, and did that for four years and the rest is history. Been a whirlwind the last couple of weeks for yourself. Uh, you know it has to be a, a great feeling in the fact that uh, you l leave one challenge and have another challenge here at Moorhead State and as you talked about in the press conference yesterday uh, Donnie Tindall uh, built a nice foundation here had some success but it's time to take that success to the next level. And that's what we're coming here to do. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little better situation, a smoother transition. Uh, things are in place already. And uh, I just want to bring in what we do and, and take it to, to the place where it needs to be from a, nat from a national standpoint. I know a lot of people have asked me, uh, you've met with players, talked to them. Uh, what have you got to, to impart on them thus far? Well, I tell you what, they're hungry and they want to make their own mark at Moorhead State University. You know, uh, a lot of them didn't play on that team that they made to the NCAA tournament and, and knocked off Louisville. So, you know, I, I see the, the, the burn in their eyes and the desire and the hunger in their be belly to, to create their own mark uh, in the history of Moorhead State. And I guess, uh, you know, recruiting wise, you hit the ground running, uh, probably started uh, a couple of days before you even got the job, right? Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> even, even when I, I've been recruiting before, before I, you know, a week or two before, <laughs> once I got involved. But, uh, but that's what you do in this profession. You know, you never want to go in uh, empty-handed, and but you don't know exactly the lay of the land of who they recruited, who they got coming back, and so on and so forth. So, but you got to have a bunch of guys in, in, in hand so whatever case may be you know you're prepared to bring them in and try to sell them on more head state and so it's, it's a much smoother transition because time is of essence right now we talked about your assistant coaches yesterday just tell us a little bit about uh, those people that will be coming to more head state uh, they're 
all go-getters, you know, has, have the same type of passion and work ethic as I do. Uh, and they're already working on the phones. I mean, I was on the phone last night to 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning talking about guys and who we're going to bring in right away. So uh, the future looks good. We just got to solidify some things in the next couple of days. And uh, they're coming in uh, the next couple of days, too, so we can get this, this thing rolling and get some guys that we've been recruiting uh, uh, in here as soon as possible. As a coach, families always important. You spend so much time on the road either recruiting or playing or scheduling or just you know meeting with other coaches. It was nice for you yesterday you have two sons and, and your wife the fact they got to be here and the fact that as you said you're bringing her a little closer to home and family. Without a doubt that was huge you know she's I've taken her around the world uh, for the last five years I mean last ten years actually and she's been a trooper and uh, my fam my sons have too. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have my son play for me uh, while I was an assistant at TCU so he you know and I've been coaching him his whole life but uh, it's the good thing to bring him back he just graduated from University of Kentucky last weekend and uh, you know my, my wife's been with me she she probably can coach my team better than I can so um, she's got it she's happy you know uh, she's back in her element and uh, you know that old saying happy wife happy life so that's one thing I don't have to worry about now her uncertainty and her and happiness with her environment so it's, it's all worked out uh, big time you know we talked about yesterday and you talked about it at the presser yesterday the fact that you are Sean Woods you played at Kentucky, but now you're the Moorhead State University basketball coach. And I think when you get into the community, the name Sean Woods will get you in the door. But I think you're looking forward to getting in that door and selling not only yourself, your program, but more at State University. No doubt about it. You know, uh, everybody has to have their niche to get in the doors. The, the first thing is to get in the door. You know, the second thing is to sell it. And I think it's not going to be hard selling Moorhead State University now. Now I'm the face of Moorhead State University basketball. I think that adds a little more to it. And, and it's a good thing, you know. So, uh, like I told you before, uh, we're coming in here to take it a little step further. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's one of the things that's going to help. I know the community is excited, the fact that uh, you know, you're on board now, you're hitting and running. Uh, what's the plans in the next couple of weeks, I guess, to get settled down and, and get your assistants in and then uh, the players coming back because I, I think they can work out this summer. As right, well. no doubt about it. First of all, it's getting, my, getting everything situated. My assistant's in here. Uh, we got to get camp going. Uh, and then I'm sure, you know, Brian's got a, a few things for me to do as far as community deals and meeting, meet and greeting some people from a support standpoint. And then um, I, the guys come back here shortly for summer school and we're going to hit that ground running. But another thing is we just got to get these guys who we got online uh, recruiting wise too. So we got a few things uh, going right now. And, um, you know, being a college basketball coach, you got to be able to multitask. And, um, you know, we, this is never easy, but it's going to be a busy time for the next month or so. But we're looking forward to it. The big question is, uh, you know, when you talk to people, the fact is they want to know the style. What is Sean Wood's style offensively and defensively? Hard to put into words, and I guess it's a little bit of, of everything that you've uh, learned over the years, but if you had to describe Sean Wood's style of play, as a coach, what is it? Organized chaos. Be high octane, very entertaining style. A style that players like to play. A style that fans like to see. You know, it's going to be fast paced. Uh, not pressure, not just pressure defensively, but we put pressure on you specifically offensively too. So uh, it's, it's going to be fun. It's you know everybody's going to have you know it's going to be something that people are going to be able to hang their heads on here at Moorhead State. And uh, you know the the future I think looks bright here. As we wrap things up, I know if people see you. Out. you're a very personal person don't be afraid to come up and shake your hand and introduce themselves because that's a, you know part of the job right now is to that's get right. to know that's everybody right. in the round that's county right. moorhead community i'm just not a typical coach you know i'm very very approachable you know and the more people come i'm a lovable guy i'm a hugger <laughs> and so uh you know the, the more people come up to me the more the more the better so that that's not a problem at all Sean, always a pleasure. Good luck with uh, Moorhead State University, and thanks for spending some time with us. No problem.